Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jeff Master Flash. It is Thursday, and we are playing Forza Horizon 3. Hi Jack, how's it going, mate? Yes, two amazing cars, and my idea behind this was I saw something today um, from a British uh, from a British car news reporter. Um, yeah, I think he's involved with Top Gear, um, the current Top Gear, Chris Harris. Um, five years ago, he drove the F40 and the F50 around Anglesey. He said in one part of the clip, it's on YouTube, go and find it, it was absolutely really fun to watch. The Ferrari F50 is more satisfying to drive, but the F40 is more fun. So, I go me obviously the cogs turn in, and yeah, I decided to see which was faster. I run the Goliath. So, what better thing to do than to break them out, tune them exactly the same, and see how they get on. So, pretty much the same setup as before, as with the corn exag race. Um, no rewinds, unbeatable driver tires, and yeah, the only difference is that we will be racing five laps instead of seven uh, because of time. That's all because I think is we're looking at about nine between nine forty-five and ten minutes a lap. Um, don't get me wrong, they are quick, but because they're retro cars, they are going to be old. <laughs> they're going to be really difficult to handle. Um, Another thing, guys, I'm going to say it before I get going. Please leave a like um, on this vid. Also check out my description. Uh, there are links to my friends' channels down below. And there is also uh, a link to Forza Horizon 4 at Amazon. Amazon have reduced the price of the base game from $49.99 to $43.99. So there's a link in there so you guys can go and pick it up. So that's enough about me. Let us go and get on some racing. Everything looks good. It's going to be five laps. Five laps of race. Um, yeah, five laps with the F40 starting off and then five laps then uh, with the F50. Um, Everything's pretty much the same. I've set them up, tuned them up exactly the same. So yeah, let's get it on. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Um, pretty much like before, the fact that I've not got a rewind on is going to be disturbing to me. Driver towers are absolutely brutal. Can you imagine? I, I just need to stop racing them and just race my own game. I think. This is this volume too loud. Difference. Probably not, but nope, absolutely not. So, I've been a P1, but yeah, these car, this car in particular, um, have to slow down a heck of a lot to make it around the corner. Um, Just because of the age, just 1987 this car was made. Um, I said before, I had a Porsche of this car. It was a Porsche. I had a Porsche of this car and a Porsche of a Lamborghini Count Ash on the wall. They actually straddled the Porsche of Cindy Crawford. 
<laughs> but I think I've said that before. Everything has got to be done slowly. Because I don't want to go slipping and sliding. Obviously, guys, you know the story. Every time you start sliding and drifting around, you lead speed. And yeah, it was a 959. The minute you start losing traction in this, that's it, it's game over. Absolutely game over. Hey, Den, how's it going, mate? How is it going? Love our little jump. Balls that up. And see, the thing is, because it's um, on unbeatable Dravatars, any excuse, any little thing, and the door opens up for them, and they all come plowing back through. But it's all good. That was close. <laughs> I could really ill afford uh, to miss a checkpoint. But yeah, I am absolutely treating this with kid gloves because it's a bit of a crazy car. Um, the first time I picked it up today, uh, to obviously to tune them up and I had taken off the stability control and the traction control um, because we was doing some drifts on uh, the achievement stream and yeah this car will absolutely drift for days without the traction and stability control on it is unbelievable Mr. R34, how's it going mate? Thank you for tuning in. I'll just get up the uh, above the hill and I will check on everybody's comments, I promise. Um, but yeah, this car is tuned to 267 miles an hour. It's not 60 time, it is 1.9 but then it falls off then with a not 100 um, being about 4.2 um, but it's still an awesome car considering his age just likes to uh likes to bite your hand off everything has to be perfect and like I said the, the margins are I've said it I keep saying it the margins are always fine in racing sims but when you've got a car that will quite happily destroy you because um, this car will uh, yeah, it's really, really difficult. Um, I don't know, it's, everything looks good, everything looks good. <laughs> Happy days. Oh no, thanks for tuning in, guys. Honestly, as I've said it before, you guys are awesome. And if you please don't mind, hit a like on that video. So yeah, we are against unbeatable Dravatars, and they are some distance back, which I am happy about that absolutely over the moment that so the lap isn't great um, if this was playing as the corn egg we would have been through surface paradise by now and we've not even approached it yet it's there in the distance 
um, that gives you some sort of speed and time difference. We are now coming to Surface Paradise. Yeah, we're going to be looking somewhere in the region of a... Might even be a 10 minute lap. Don't forget this is the first lap. First lap is always a, always a cold lap. Um, I'm going to build up a bit of a distance between myself and the driver tires and then I'm going to last lap, last two laps, going to drive it like how it should be driven. Sideways. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be a really, really um, long lap. Hey Harvey, thank you for tuning in mate. Oh, I've got to pay attention to this road. Especially with no rewinds on. But what a beautiful, beautiful car. This is um, one of Ben's favourites. Don't like that corner. Fault. We should slow down way back in the distance for that. It's all good though. It is all good. So, I have driven the F40 and I've driven the F50. I've not driven them both around this track. It's the first time I've driven the F40 around this track. Um, and I know it's early in the race, but I am going to say the F50 is going to be quicker. And as much as I don't want that to be the case, right now, I think the F50 is going to be quicker. As much as I hate to say it. just this I don't know even though it's really set up to the way I normally set everything up it just seems so so twitchy <laughs> it just wants to go sideways at every up every given opportunity the f50 does seem to be set up a lot more sturdier than That's the fun, right? So we're already way past the nine minute mark. Nine thirty six. So so we was well, but nine nine thirty four hit hitting the reach. Wow, there's one thing that I find phenomenal about this car. It is completely, completely on the road. It is unbelievable. It's really twitchy. On the beach, it was probably the best car I've ever driven. <laughs> so that would say that I've set it up incorrect set it up too much for the beach and not enough for the road that's what it would say to me but 1001 1001 hey Sophie how's it going thank you for tuning in thank you very much
<laughs> yeah, we're all pretty. Yeah. God, I feel young. I feel young. I feel old. Old as heck. But, um. That's not the preferred route through there. Beef, 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 beef. <laughs> this is it. Just like driving a. It's like holding a child which you've just taken its sweets off. I will get a decent lap out of it, I just gotta get dialed in, mate. <laughs> he says. But yeah. Trying to drive this is like holding holding a kid that you've just taken its sweets off, and you know their arms and their legs are kicking around everywhere, and you were trying trying to hold them at a distance. Not that I've taken sweets off kids, because that's not how I roll. But believe me, I have children and they fight and squabble all the time. And especially when you've got a child at arm's length because you don't want to kick you in the nuts. Not at least I don't anyway. I think I've definitely set this car up way too stiff. It's not so much of a drama though, we can work with it. Just need to know when to um, cut my losses. And slam on the anchors real quick. But how is everybody doing today anyway? Um, it's Thursday, it is soon going to be the weekend. Um, I'm going to stream tomorrow night, Project, probably Project Cars. Um, but then I am not about on the weekend. Got uh, my sister's wedding to attend on Saturday. And yeah, Sunday I'll probably... Oh. In recovery mode, I expect. So we... 10.01. Probably, if I can shave four seconds off this lap, I'll be over the moon. But anything under 9:50 will be a brilliant lap, or I'll deem it as a as a brilliant lap. Oh, congratulations, mate! <laughs> See, this trying to read and drive, it is not all it cracked up to be. Not all it cracked up to be at all. Not doing too bad though, not doing too bad so far, so good. So come on in guys, let me know in, your in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? The F40 or the F50? Let me see what you think. And I promise you, uh, I do not know either. I don't. Said at a minute, I'm going with the F50. Whew. 
So I'm about two and a half lap, or one and a half laps in, and I've not been high fived in the face by a tree yet, which is nice. The F40 with his natural V12 turbocharged engine, while the V50, um, or the F50 rather, not the V50, had a normally aspirated engine. It's bonkers, absolutely bonkers. So, please don't think I'm being ignorant guys, I um, just get me to a point and then I'll stop and I'll go back over the comments. But thank you, honestly I cannot thank you enough. Uh, damn bikes, why do they park their bikes right there? That's not very nice, Sophie, is it? Not very nice at all, calling me old. Oh, definitely, absolutely. But shadow of doubt, the F40 is the better looking car. Um, definitely. And if I had a choice between the F40 and the F50, I would take the F40 all day of the week. Um, I very, very well could be wrong. The F50 could very well lose. Um, I've not driven the F50 yet around here, but it just seems you know, a lot more less in a hurry to go sideways. Well that's where I got from first impressions anyway. We're doing alright for time as well. We're in a little bit of a better pace place than we were this time last lap. Just need to think to turn in a little bit better. We'll be alright. Be all right, all right. It's one thing I am gonna miss about Forza Horizon 3 is the Goliath race. But if rumors are true, and I only know them to be as rumors for the time being because I've not checked, not found out anything about Forza Horizon 4, um, there are three endurance races in Forza Horizon 4 and for those of you who have not already got yourself a copy of Forza Horizon 4 there is a link in my description below um, Amazon they are they have reduced the price of the base game from $49.99 to $43.99 saving you 6 quid Whoa, whoa, whoa. So when we came around that corner we was at 9.25 We just came around that corner then and we was at 9.17 So we made a good time just Provided now I don't mess it up all along this beach. We got another brother. A 9.56 lap. But I've never driven a car across a beach, across this beach, and I've driven a lot of uh, Goliath races. And 
Wow. What was that? A 955? 954. Not with that. So gains seven seconds on the first lap. If we could keep gaining seven seconds per lap, it'd be awesome. But no, like I said, anything nine fifty or below, and I'll be able to run with. And what you gotta remember as well, I really had a sticky. Did we start for that first, to that second lap? Um, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. As long as I can extend my time over the driver tires behind me as well, because they are honestly on unbeatable. And I have no rewinds. It seems really, really, um, don't, it seems really, really sluggish in sixth gear for some reason. Doesn't seem to want to pick up as quick. It's alright one through five and then sixth gear it's quite flat or flat it feels a 208 through there it was 214 on the last lap well, that keeps up if that stays like that it would be even better Didn't go through there any faster, honestly. Honest, oh, oh, this car. If I had rewinds on, I'd be around, I'd be sideways around every corner, and I really would. It just wants to go nuts. It really does. Um, we get a lap. We give it about a quarter or all the way through lap four, and then we'll start. Then I start drifting it like a boss. <laughs> like a boss, he says. Can't drift to save my life. You can drive though, just a little bit. Have a good one, Soph. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you very much. It's nice to see you. It's nice to talk to you. Yeah, that was a classic, I tell you. Not only is it a classic song, it's uh, it also holds a classic cup of tea as well. For anybody who's wondering what I'm on about, I have a teacup. Well, it's more like a tea, tea jug uh, with the boss on it. Tree, 
like a boss. I'm the boss. No trees yet. No trees have actually jumped out and gone, hi. Have one to the face. Time for that change though. One hundred percent. Love it the way when it gears down it like, spits fire. It's right in here, cup of tea. minutes for this race and then depending on what we can get a lap out of the yeah, F50 but we're at the same for that then tomorrow I'm going to probably take the Vulcan around Laguna Seca I'm thinking that is what I'm thinking Again, look. <laughs> Stay straight, god damn it. Stay straight and true. Anybody can hear them noises in the background, it's my dog, honestly. The older she gets, the louder she gets, and she snores. She snores like an absolute pig. She had a, have an operation when she was a pup. Um, because she's a bull mastiff. They have trouble with tr trouble breathing properly, and uh, when she was poorly, she couldn't breathe properly through her nose. So they had to widen up her snout. So the older she's getting, the louder she's getting when she snorts. She snorts worse than I do. That was a nice corner through there. Really nice through there. Six. Might get a couple of seconds off this lap again now. It's just a night. Guys, please don't forget to leave a like on the um, on the actual video itself. And also, please don't forget to check out uh, my friends' channels. They are in the link below. Shit, 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 shit. Guys, how's this stream going? Because for the second night on a trot, I've got red lines from YouTube. 
saying that I've got poor quality etc yet I'm looking directly at the stream and everything looks fine to me everything yeah, everything looks up everything looks good to me honestly this is the fourth night the fourth night uh, the second night on the trot that I've had the same sort of issue I have no idea why that is doing it. It's just been a, it's a massive storm going on outside though, so I don't know if that might interfere for the last two nights. It's really been bad here. Obviously not as bad as everywhere else in the UK, uh, in the US, but... Apologise for the buzzing as well. I'm gonna have to find a different uh, way of watching these streams back, my stream back, because hearing that bzz all the time is a bit off-putting. Okay, so I didn't check. Look at that, 9:46. Anything under a 9.50 I said and I'd be more than happy with and I'm happy with that and if I hadn't lost it on the approach I would have uh, definitely got a 9.45 a late 9.45 I'm really happy with it So, got two laps or a lap and three quarters to find more, some more time. Um, otherwise, that's the time to beat for the for the F50. Hey, Voltage! Thank you for tuning in, mate. But I don't know. There she goes. The back end on her. Um, I will get on the long back straight and then I'll pause to check your comments. Because, yeah. Every time I take my eyes off this. The back end want to step up. Amazing. Nineteen eighty seven. I was five years of age. And like I said, for all those of you who have not seen the um, Chris Harris um, clip he did on racing the on driving the F40 and F50, um, it was absolutely fantastic, absolutely brilliant. It was do 50 laps in the AZ. <laughs> 50 laps in the AZ, you say? No, I mean. I'd be like pulling teeth but it wouldn't be the first time I did something silly so 
wouldn't be the first time I've done something silly at all. Let's see if I can't shut that up. Uh, so, I thought they were further behind me than that. Never mind. I'd rather do 50 laps in the Reliant Supervan. I've got to be honest, at least that way. I'd have more fun when it rolled over. I'd have much more of a laugh when it rolled over. <laughs> in the eyes of uh, I reckon that would be about... About a 16 to 20 minute lap per lap. a lot of time. You're looking at about 15, 16 hours, 14, 15 hours to get that Izetta to do a full 50 laps of this. Although fun, something for a different day. Especially with um, Forza Horizon 4 being so close. Said, I said, there's still plenty of time for those trees to jump out and smash you in the face. I was just on a shit driver. My shit driver. I thought they had more of a gap to the cars behind me as well and that's where I've been slowing it right down to take corners more cautiously they've been catching up nope nothing absolutely bare All I could do on this was give it a weight reduction, I think. I just wish it was that quick, so I could click... Uh, just click a button and have a weight reduction. Yeah, without the stability bars on the super van. You've only got to look at it and it'll topple over. So, that's what I mean. That would be a lot more fun or funnier than driving the Isetta. If anybody have actually ever done that, I, the, the game's two year old. Somebody's bound to have taken the the Isetta around the Goliath for fifty laps, surely. There's got to be someone out there crazy enough to have done that. So, we're almost at the end of lap four, and so far, the F50 has to beat 946. The 
I just think it'll do it. I think it'll do it by a good 10, 12 seconds as well. Just because of the way that when this when you, the weight shifts um, in this, it instantly wants to that escalated quite quickly. As I was saying, when the weight shifts in this car. It just suddenly wants to swing the back end up and obviously that's where all the trouble lies. Lap five. Last lap for the F40. Yeah, definitely. We um, we'll do it. We'll we'll race with. Um, we'll take the super vans, and we shall. To it wherever no no goliath because that'll be a bit be a bit stupid i think it'll take us an entire stream to do that just the sheer fact that they topple over every time you look at them i wonder if the um ai topples over as easy as uh, we would. Okay, so now I've got a choice. I can either try and push this lap um, to see if I can get it better time or I can really drive this Ferrari like it's supposed to be with me. and as it would happen I'm on for a really good lap as well okay I'm going to keep pushing until I fuck up I was a 205 around here, the best I've had so far is a 208. So I'm three seconds up on where I should be. So until I screw it all up, I'm gonna keep pushing. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so it was inevitable that I was going to screw that up because I was just pushing too much. There they go. There's another tree. P10? I don't give a bit of a chance, haven't I? Okay, the gloves are now off.
I love it coming to come back through the pack anyway. Just, these are absolutely brutal though. As well as um, allegedly unbeatable. and just slam on the brakes like it. Yeah, cheers for that, mate. Thanks. It's the F50, but there. Come on! And this is what I mean. You should never believe any of the status is going to work. This is... I had nowhere to go. Especially when he's on the bridge. No way to go. And that XG. So very nice. Just throwing a tree at me. I got fucking high fived in the face by that tree. My own fault though, I was pushing too hard and I took my half a ball. And that was it. Completely my fault. Didn't even attempt that corner then. Because <laughs> otherwise I would have gone back and smashed straight into another tree. Fine lines. Fine lines. Okay, so the night the time for the F fifty to beat is nine forty six. Unfortunately, I couldn't better it. Um, crashed on the end of the lap four, and I crashed a quarter of the lap into lap five. So therefore, couldn't better the time. Which sucks much. This car has definitely got more. Definitely got a better time in it than what I have given it, 100%. Um, dive out of the way then. And that's a shame. It really is a shame because when I hit the bridge going through the rainforest, I was on a one... F I was on a 141 time and... Um, that normally means then when you're going up over the brow um, Woodsville or wherever it's called it, to hit the jump as long as you hit there obviously under two two fourteen you, you know you're on you're on a you're on a winner sort of thing have a good an RV no worries this rain is really coming down here. Really coming down. Cheer me on. Cheering me on. I don't even know why I'm bothering to complete this race for now because. I suppose I just should go and get the F50 started because we all know that 
I'm going to bet at the time. So, the point of finishing this race is pretty irrelevant, really. I'll do it just for beauty. Just for beauty purposes. And you right on my tail. Right on my tail. I don't mind even if he takes over me now. I sack really. I sack really. Because. of what I did, let that tree jump out and have tea with uh, Bill and Ben, the neighbours. Do it at 9.37 already. We lost a lot of time with them crashes. Hell of a lot of time. It's good though, because you can see, uh, driving like this, you can see all the inputs that I'm using with the Steve with a thumbstick so we almost crossed the line end of lap 5 and I blew it so it was a 9.46 for the F50 to do <clears throat> yeah so guys we need to remember look at that XG did it in a 9.38 Not saying that I'm anywhere as close to an unbeatable AI driver, but if you look at number six, Motorhead J, actually was driving an F50, and he did it at 939. Just saying. I so wanted the F. I so want the F40 to win but I just it's just not going to happen and there's no way that I can turn around and not drive it properly um, because that would just be unfair to you guys um, it is 100% they both tuned exactly the same so looks like my game has froze nope so yeah guys, that is the first race done, dusted. So, spin for the prize. Now I need to get into um, need to get into the F50. But guys, I hope you are enjoying this. Um, Honestly, I love the Goliath. I love racing it um, just as much as I love the main game. Really do. Um, okay, so I need to get a new motor. Nine thirty-nine. It's posted by that other F fifty. 
I even left the wheels the same because I didn't want to um, yeah I agree with you with that Jack um, mm, I don't know I, pro I probably satellite more towards the F40 um, yeah I, I probably I do like them um, equally the same but <laughs> if there was keys to either one of them and I had a choice I would probably take the F40 probably would probably would but guys also as well um, while we're waiting for this Goliath the second Goliath race to, to load there's also uh, a link to my discord in the description below as well if you want to come join in chat about anything check chat about anything just come say hi already already the feeling of twitchiness is gone I don't know whether that's just my brain trying to trick me but I know that I wasn't so leery coming out of uh, those turns I'm, I'm gone already um, I was flatter through that jump there then than I ever was with the F40 okay that was my fault hmm. totally totally my fault <laughs> Not a great way to start off of the F50, but we'll be all right. It's not this lap, but uh, through the measuring on anyway, it's the second lap, second, third, fourth, and fifth. But I'm telling you, you guys now. I think my prediction is true. It just feels a lot more stiffer. It feels well, it just wants to go around corners a lot quicker than uh, the F40, and that's a damn shame because. We wanted the F40 to win. <clears throat> so on the first lap, um, when we came around that corner, uh, the F40 was already on a 218. Even though I'd crashed um, with this, this was on a 214. So even on the first lap, this unfortunately um, was quicker. Sad times. Ouch. Sad times indeed. But the good thing is, this is just a video game. And it's okay, because I can just keep telling myself that the F40 was the winner. It was the winner, winner, chicken dinner. But unfortunately, when the eyes see something, it can never be unseen. But look at this interior compared to um, 
What the hell? F4, yeah. Just looks more of it. I don't know, it just, the, the back end looks a hell of a lot fatter than. I don't know. I don't know. I kept the Ferrari wheels on it as well, so they both could have made them lighter and a little bit quicker, but. I decided to leave the wheels on them. This one though definitely does, doesn't respond to bumps as well as the F40 did. So this one is going to be really difficult or not as um, easy uh, across the beach like the F40 was. So it could still be close. Still be really close, in fact, because the time that I don't make up on the road could be made up on the beach by the F40 because this doesn't respond to bumps very well. If that makes sense. Turns a lot better though. One hundred percent turns a lot better, which is sad. Which is really sad. I think we was well um, into the six minutes when we kept approached um, Surface Paradise in the F40. It was 6.03. I think this will be about a 9.30. If I can remember properly, the first lap, um, first lap for the F40 was a 10:01. So hopefully we can better that. already accelerating quicker than the F40 did as well. Wow. It's a lot more uh, planted through there as well. But I hope you are having an awesome Thursday, guys, wherever you are. Um, I said it's gone 10 now in the UK. And tomorrow night will more than likely be on Project Cars, taking the Aston Martin Vulcan around Laguna Seca. Not around there at the weekend. I'll be back on Monday. This car. <clears throat> See, why couldn't the F40 have this type of handling? 
And honestly, I, when I say I set them up the same, that's exactly what I did. I made sure that everything was the same. Um, I said the only difference is between the two cars, apart from the name, ho <laughs> ho, the wheels. I kept both Ferrari wheels. Ooh. Kept the wheels. And I put the same aero on the front to help me turn in better. No aero on the back. So yeah. Let's get in here. Because I so wanted the F40 to do it. But well, I suppose you can't have what you like in life. Sacrifices must be made and all that for the greater good. That's exactly what I meant about how this Ferrari um, is not going to play nice going across the beach. Um, the F40 was the best car I've ever driven across the beach, and this is probably the worst. Um, but even said that, the first lap on the F40 was a 10.01. And even with that off, it's a 948, uh, 958, so. Fuck. That's upsetting. That really is upsetting. Especially to do it so early in the lap. Third lap comes around, I'm gonna to have to concentrate because I'm gonna get a set of time, a decent time doing that sort of stupid stupidity. And I am trying to obviously race it like I raced the F40 because I want to see the time that this will post. trying to get I was trying to catch my time back up and that's where that crash came from but I really need to nail it in the third lap stupid 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 stupido see now things like that really really piss me off it's because it's for my own stupidity that I'm crashing um, it was my stupidity that caused me to crash in the first place so then I was I sped everything up to try and make up the time and unfortunately I crashed again Which is never a clever thing to do. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, if, if the dramatars come from behind me and spun me round and whatnot. well then such is life but because I've done it it annoys me all that more and like, yeah and like you said it's nine minutes a lap and it's something that can't be rectified really quickly
but I know without a shadow of a doubt, even if I crash it on every lap, um, this F50 will beat the F40 around the Goliath. That's about the long and short of it. It's just we don't know by what time yet. I'm really surprised though that this handles so poorly across the beach, whereas the F40 was phenomenal. It's one of the best cars I've ever driven. My own fault anyway, I should know when to slow down and when to start with. Race this course enough to know when to go for it and when not to. Every Brit only there was screaming tree, the tree. Every bit of me. Just slow right down there, otherwise they would have hit that other tree. Right on that very corner. in the background. This one's a bit of an handful as well, mind. I'm not saying that it is completely 100% more refined than the F40, because this wants to uh, slide every opportunity it can, but it's just got all that little bit a little bit more grip than the 40 had. And it accelerates a lot quicker as well. And those two characteristics obviously make a car a lot quicker. So long ago. So, the third lap is going to be the one. He says. So he is. Slow in, fast out. In my case, it's slow in, crash out. <laughs> Takes that corner a lot quicker as well. Um, Slow right down in the 40. I'm just sad, just gutted. I really wanted the F40 to uh, to do well. So, but we'll bounce back with 
we'll take the F40 out for a drift for a drift joyride and see if we can score better points on a drift zone than the F50 just for it to redeem itself a little bit thought we was definitely having tea with the neighbours then the way this thing goes across the humps and bumps. Okay, so I'm going to start concentrating now. Proper lap time. See, even with those two crashes that I had in that last lap, it still went quicker than the actual first time. need to stay on it. It's not a bad take at all. So the beach will be the maker or breaker. for this for this lap but it's definitely sticking the hell no 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 <laughs> Blown that. Um, I was riding so close to the barrier because I wanted a better, the better angle to come out of that turn with. But the fact that um, I hit it, it threw me off into. into the trees just do it completely I'm trying to keep trying anyway keep going because that's all I can do is keep on going but that's another thing that's just pissed me right off They so close as soon in the in the in the race. Of 
because at this moment, at this moment in time, I had set two proper laps, but with the um, with the F40, and I'm yet to set a proper lap with the F50. And I think the reason why I'm cocking up so much is because. I don't know. I really don't know why I'm cocking up so much. And no, it's not because I won the F40 to win. It's um, just me. I think. That rain is honestly, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm right next to a window and even with my headset on, it is really bad, really bad. Guys, I hope you are all doing really well um, in the side chat and like I said, I can't thank you guys enough for uh, tuning in, day in, day out, like you do. You guys are absolutely awesome. Um, there are some links in my description below for my friends' channels. If you would like to go and ch check those out, you won't be disappointed. There is also a, a link in there from Amazon. Um, it's for Forza Horizon 4. It's the, just a complete base game. Um, they uh, reduced the price on it for those of you guys who have not yet picked up McCarthy or pre-order I should say and please 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 leave a like on the video it would be greatly appreciated come on Keep that fat ass in check. It just seems a lot wider than the F50, than the F40 rather. And I don't know. Don't know. Looks more. I don't know. Don't honestly I'm taking nothing away from the Air 50. They are both like truly, truly, truly amazing cars from their era. And I would have either um, I would be more inclined to the um F forty, but wow. Just wow. Just nuts. think um, what I might do is after I've managed to set a timed a proper time lap with the F50 on uh, here I might actually recreate the same race so it'll be an F40 versus an F50 but um, 
run a different circuit. Maybe the actual Ferrari test track. On Project Cars 2. Don't know yet. I might. But like I said, I do really want to take um, Nasty Martin Vulcan around Laguna Seca. Not just that, an R35 as well. So, it's just thoughts, it is. Because I have got the um, Ferrari DLC in Project Cars 2. It was an F40 in there as well, so. I could recreate it. Is the line, there is the line. Uh, did it, done it. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Even without setting a proper time lap using the F50, we have beaten the F40. So guys, how does that make you feel? How does that actually make you feel? To find out that with the F40, I was trying. I was really, really trying my hardest to set a proper, decent lap. And um, yeah. I was trying to set a proper decent time lap with the Ferrari F50, uh, sorry, with the F40, and I managed to time in 9.46. Opened up with the F50 and really wasn't even trying. Uh, not really wasn't even trying, I was really trying, but I ended up crashing it a lot, and I crashed it on that last lap and still managed to um, set a decent time. There is no point me carrying on with it. Um, because I shall show you the time, the last lap. As you can see, right there in the top left hand corner, the best time is 9.40. And all I could manage with the Ferrari F40 was a 9.46. So that's it. So I'm really sad. <laughs> I am extremely sad. Um, because I wanted the F40 to win. So the conclusion to this being that the 1987 Ferrari F40 loses, loses, what a lovely word, has lost to its younger brother. And by younger brother I mean the 1995 Ferrari F50. Sad, really sad. But if I had a choice between either, I would take the F40 every day of the week. But let me just show you how crazy these um, actually are. Round corners, they're funny. The sort of always without that no traction control on. But this is still continuing up the main part where um, the Goliath race would have continued and we would have carried on. But look at this. <laughs> Traffic going my way. And this is the reason why I was going to race with everything off. Um, but the traction off the beach would have been so difficult to get away. Um, that's the only reason why I opted to stick with it. But but yeah, like I said these just just want to just go around these corners crazy. 
and the F40 was even worse. The F40 was even worse. But I suppose that's a massive bombshell. That's somewhere where I didn't really want to be for uh, tonight's stream. I really wanted the. Really, really, really wanted the F40 to be the winner. Be the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, but obviously, it wasn't meant to be. This was not meant to be. And that. Ladies and gentlemen, is a kick in the teeth. Love, love it, love drifting around. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I am um, gutted. Absolutely gutted that this beautiful, albeit still beautiful, uh, machine actually won. Um, with a time of 9.40 and I honestly crashed that many times driving it it didn't even set a proper time so guys on that I'd like to see the old vet versus the 90s vet versus the new vet on the right, hang on so let me before I go let me have a look let me have a look to see if we got the the vets. This wrong one. So let's go back to the let's go back to the festival. Yes, mate. Massive bombshell. Massive, massive bombshell. <clears throat> yeah, we will end. But um, just want to check something out for Oldsby Jack a minute. I wanted <clears throat> take nothing away from that car. The F fifty is is a beautiful car. Um, but when I started getting into driving the F forty around the Goliath, I knew straight away that the F fifty had um, just had more about it. So the Corvette. So what you're saying is you want the 2015. So you want the 2015 version of the VET versus I don't think I've got the other one. Hmm, I think I got that one. Or are you saying you want this Z, this ZR1 versus. I think it was ZR1. Hmm. May I end I'm far from this dig. Connor. Speed six is more of the stig than I am. <laughs> For sure. One hundred percent. I don't think I I don't think I've got it. Maybe next time, Jack. Definitely, maybe next time. Um we I do a race in the Goliath. Yeah, I didn't have it in my arsenal. I didn't. No, just right. I didn't. I didn't have the car. I didn't have the car in my garage. Um, so yeah, it'll be the ZR1 versus the ZR1 or the 2006, 2002 Z06 versus the 2015 Z06. 
but I have already set a time using the new uh, Z06. I did a seven lap Goliath race on that, um, and it was absolutely quite pleasant. But honestly, I am pretty, pretty sad right now. The fact that. Tell you what, one more thing we can do before we go. One more thing. Let's see if we can't get a bit of redemption from the F40 before we go. So, let's get out of here. One more shot of redemption for the... For the F40. One more shot. One more shot, guys. One more shot. Okay, so in a drag race, the length of the airfield predictions. F40 versus 50. And I'll put the traction control back on just to make it... Um, actually, I won't. Oh, no, I'll have to because... I'll have to because the um I'll just put traction control back on. And leave it at that. So all that stability control is not in there. So the F forty will get the F two forty my guess is okay. So three, two, one. Remember, I put traction control back on, so... Hopefully, we're gonna get some redemption. So, it's only two at the speed camera. Okay. So, the F40 was... 2.42 at the speed camera. I need to turn around and make sure I go the other way. So, the yeah, 50 now then needs to beat. Two forty two or better. Let's go back down this end. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. Don't actually know. Two forty two though is the time to beat. Yes, I know it's time to stop. I'm just looking for some some redemption from from being sad. Okay. Three, two, one. 2.42 is the time is the, is the time is the speed 
and then unfortunately guys I think this is going to smash it <laughs> or not oh well I can't do much more than that the Ferrari F5120 fuck <laughs> Oh, unbelievable, absolutely un freaking believable So, the F50 won uh, the Goliath race, and the F50 wins the drag race. So, I just, yeah, it was close. It was close on the drag race, but damn it. Damn it. But, guys, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, we had eight nine laps of the goliath race and yeah we've had a drag race so what more could we ask for um but f before i go please hit uh like on the um video it would help me out a hell of a lot if you guys are new and you want to stick around hit that subscribe button again that would be absolutely fantastic for your support check out the links in my description below they are friends of mine and you will not be disappointed with their content not just that um, there is uh, a link down there as well for um, Forza Horizon 4 pre-order with Amazon. Uh, they are uh, have reduced their price on the base game by six quid. Anyway, that's enough from me. This one's been a little bit shit. We've been playing Forza Horizon 3. I'm Jaff Master Flash. You guys who support me are absolute legends. Thank you ever so much. Peace.